Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Almighty God for giving us another opportunity to be able to meet again on this part of Second Ambassadors. I uh, will trust God that we all had a wonderful week. And it's a prayer that this week, this new week that we have entered in today, I uh, will be the best of grace for us all in Jesus' name. Amen. So today, by His mercies, I want to look at another important topic, uh, which is the story of two condemned criminals. And the story of two condemned criminals. And our text are from the book of Luke chapter 23, verse 33 to 43, and Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Luke 23, verse 33 to 43, and Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Let us pray. Spirit of living God, we appreciate you for the gift of life. Thank you for counting us to be among the living. Thank you for your faithfulness in our lives and for all that you have continued to do. Father, we are grateful. Lord, we say be exalted in Jesus' name. Thank you for being God in our lives. Thank you for all that you have continued to do. Father, I accept our thanks and praises in the name of Jesus. Spirit of living God, we commit um, to this message to the end to pray that Lord you 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 move mightily back up your word with your power with your fire and let it accomplish that uh, which you want your message to accomplish today in Jesus name thank you because you have answered for in Jesus name we have prayed we also pray that give us the grace to be hearers and drawers of your word in Jesus name thank you almighty God and we also pray that on the last day this world will not stand against any one of us in Jesus name Amen. And so just like I mentioned to us, I was considering the story of two condemned criminals. And for the past two, three weeks, we considered um, a topic that has to do with all that Jesus suffered. At first, we said that we, you and I, we need to understand the unsustainable love of God, which has to do with the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then from there, we also went and further to understand all that Christ suffered for our sake. Uh, for us to be saved, Christ paid the price. And finally, we also established that there are some lessons that you and I and could actually learn from all that Jesus suffered. Uh, so today, by his message, we want to look at uh, the story of two condemned criminals. And like we all know, that when Jesus uh, was crucified, he was also crucified. Uh, he was crucified with, um, he was crucified, uh, we all know that Jesus was crucified. But then at that point of death, we also had two criminals that were crucified with him. So today we want to look at uh, the story of these two criminals and we pray that the good Lord will give all of us understanding in Jesus' name. And the first important point we want to make is the fact that these two criminals and that were hanged you know, beside our Lord Jesus Christ, in a way, you know, gives like a general representation of the two categories of two kinds of people we have on earth. So what we are saying is that although we have these two criminals that are uh, crucified with Christ, generally these two criminals represent you know, just a picture of the two kinds of people that we have on earth. And so as we go on, we we'll, we'll tend to we'll, we'll get to understand um, this more. And so, so I've also said that we also need to understand the fact that the Almighty God that we, we serve, you know, He has the power to do all things. Like you all know that it's called the is the Alpha and the Omega, is the omnipotent God. Um, he has the power, he has you know the all the he has the authority, he can he can influence anything, he can do whatever he likes because he is the Almighty. But one thing that our God will not do is to actually you know take our a free will from us so has given us the opportunity to make our own decisions you know and that is why when it comes to salvation he will not force us or compel us and uh, to give our lives to God he will always give us the opportunity to make our own decision uh, but then what he will always do is to ensure that he encourages us you know to be able to make uh, the right decision that will be of benefit to our lives and even people around us uh, for instance, in the book of Ethereum chapter 30, verse 19, and the Israelites were given the opportunity to choose between life and death. You know, in that particular text, G and Moses encouraged them to choose life. Brothers and sisters, I want us to know, just as you know, we, we all are in this world today, like I said earlier, we have, you know, the two the two criminals that were of Jesus, just like I mentioned earlier, represent the two kinds of people that we have today. And that means those that will choose life and those that will choose it. Our desire is that all of us uh, will choose life in Jesus' name. But then, 
making a decision is what determines where you and I will spend our eternity. So it means here that just like one of the two tips that we new two Koreans are considering, one of them, you know, it was wise enough uh, to be able to uh, 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 to say things that could actually permit him make a decision that will permit him or that will give him the opportunity to be able to reign with the Lord Jesus. In fact, Jesus told him that today you will join me in paradise. You know what is what a great opportunity. He maximized the opportunity. Brothers and sisters, I want us to know just like these two criminals, you and I, you know, have been given that good opportunity to make our decision. Uh, if you are born again, I congratulate you because we have been able to make a good decision just like that particular criminal that was given the opportunity to reign with Christ in paradise. But then if I get to make this decision, now God is giving this opportunity to be able to choose where you will spend your eternity. And we as tech ambassadors want to encourage you to choose life because that is the true way for us to have eternal life. Brothers and sisters, I want us to know that Jesus is the only one that can save us. He's the only one that can save us from our past sins. And that is why today we want to encourage us to please accept Jesus as our Lord and personal Savior. Remember I said that the two thieves that were crucified with, with the Lord Jesus on the cross, you know, they represent two classes of people. One, the first class are those that will choose life, while the other are those that will reject life. It's not important for us to know that Jesus Christ himself is the resurrection and the life. So that means that the first category of people and that we have in the world and those that have made up their mind are to choose Jesus, to choose Jesus who is the life and resurrection, or who have chosen Jesus, while the second category are those that will not choose the Lord Jesus. It's also important for us to also remember that this decision, although we could say that we can, uh, we have our free will, but then it also determines where we spend our eternity. That is why today, on the part of the second verse, I want to encourage us all to choose life so that we can reign with Christ in eternity. And it's a prayer that the good Lord will give us that grace to make that impartation today in Jesus' name. It's very important for us to know that in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, the Bible says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So it means that if we decide not to choose Jesus, if we decide not to choose life, then what we we'll have automatically will be death. Because just as we read in that Romans, in that text, Romans 6, the wages of sin is death. It's a prayer that none of us will die in our sins and be a particle of hell in Jesus' name. Brothers and sisters, I want us to know that God loves us so much. And of course, he also expects that you and I will be able to make that wise decision of accepting Jesus, of, of choosing life, of accepting Jesus and the author and the financial of our faith. It's so important for us to remember that the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ as established in, the, uh, in, the Bible, in that text, uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 5, is coming is at hand. So that means that you and I must ensure that we have made that decision uh, of, who we, of where we want to spend our eternity. And so today we are reminding us, if you have not made that decision, so please do that today because Jesus is coming soon and of course is coming again. And so today we want to uh, give opportunity to as many that are yet to accept the Lord Jesus as our personal Savior. So please do so now. And so if you want to accept Jesus now as our personal Savior, can you please repeat this prayer after the Lord Jesus? Thank you for all that you did on the cross. Thank you for all that and you suffered for my sake. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be able to choose life and which means to choose you. And today, I make up my mind to choose you, and I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Please write my name in the book of life, and on the last day, give me the grace to reign with you in eternity. Thank you because you have answered for in Jesus' mighty name. I have prayed. Amen. Brethren, if you have said that prayer with us, I want to congratulate you for making the best decision anybody can ever make. I want to assure you that your name is written in the book of life, at the same time, I also want to encourage you to please continue in this path of salvation. And the Most High God Himself will keep you and He will keep us to, to that perfect day in Jesus' name. At the same time, I also want you to know that you just as students go to school, for them to be trained, for them to, to learn, for them and to be tutored, so that at the end of the day, 
they can be able to have like a degree from what a degree to show that they have actually studied we also want to encourage you to please be a member of the church join the church so that you get to know more about god and uh, of course it will also help you to be able to serve um the almighty god your heavenly father and uh, so please try to look for a bible church around you let the man of god in the church know that you are a new convert and of course if i dedicate your life to Lord Jesus, let the man of god know that they can help you and uh, to be able to stay in faith it's our prayer the good lord will keep us all unto that perfect day in jesus name at the same time i want to encourage you to please get the bible so that you can study it on a daily basis and which will also help you to be able to know the mind of god concerning those things that uh, you are passing through at the same time i also want you to know that it's important for you and i to pray because prayer itself is a way about communicating with our heavenly father so please be a man and woman of prayer and as you pray the almost the most i got what our prayers in jesus name and so finally as we close today uh we just want to close uh with this uh, uh prayer point and the prayer point is that we want to say father our dear Holy father please help us to be wise in choosing lord jesus as our lord and personal savior before it becomes too late father we pray in the name of jesus lord that you give us the grace to choose you not to choose you with our lips to choose you wholeheartedly to choose the lord jesus wholeheartedly as another personal savior before it gets late in jesus name thank you because of us and even as many of us that have chosen you give us the grace to to cling unto you to uphold you know that that this salvation gift you are giving us unto that perfect day in jesus name thank you because of answered in jesus name we have prayed amen brethren we are grateful that you are able to join us today it's plan for us to remember that the story of the two condemned criminals that were crucified with the lord jesus uh, is just for you and i to know where we belong either we are accepting jesus as our savior or not in other words it's for us to remember or to note or to for us to be able to make that decision either we are taking life or death and i also believe that on, on today's by the grace of god from today's message all of us will have agreed and to to choose to choose life and i pray that that life that we have chosen which is who is our lord jesus christ himself will keep us all onto that perfect day in jesus name and if you are yet to subscribe to our channel i want to encourage you to do so so that when um, we load new messages you can get notified and of course you can get to just listen and be blessed by what god has for us on a weekly basis and so it's also better for us to note that the purpose of this platform is not for any other reason but for all and I to be able to preach to those souls. So we want to encourage you that please, as a reason, let these messages be a reminder on a weekly basis on, on, on the need for you and I to preach the gospel. And as we do this, the Lord himself will bless us in Jesus' name. You can use trust. If you need trust, you can also let us know so that we'll find a way to get a trust to preach the gospel. It's a prayer that the good Lord is going to keep all of us onto that perfect day in jesus name so thank you so much for joining us today i want to wish you all a very wonderful week and a blessed evening god bless you and have a good evening bye bye